It's time to upgrade the firmware on the Ortur Laser Master and Laser Master 2 machines. I'm going to show you how to do that in five minutes or less. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. So like I said, Ortur just released a firmware for the Laser Master and Laser Master 2 machines. It's time to update that firmware and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. There is a couple things you need to know right away. Number one, you have to do this on a Windows machine. You cannot use a Mac to do this. Please don't use a Mac to do this. Heed the warning, Windows only. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mac users, but that's what they did and, and that's how the firmware is. Just please use a Windows machine to do this. Number two, because we're changing cores from 1.1F to 1.1H in Gerbil, that is gonna erase all the settings that you have. If you've done any custom settings, keep track of them and you'll have to re-add them after this is done. So why would we do this? Why would we upgrade the firmware anyways? Well, I tell you what, there's a couple reasons. Number one, they introduced some new fixes. They fixed the laser pause and resume issues. Uh, that's gonna be for both boards. And the second thing they corrected was the false positive checks on the pro motherboards. There's a couple different motherboards and uh, if you have a pro model, you probably already know it. Um, in the instructions, they actually show you the difference. It's uh, the buttons are turned different on the front control. But either way, it's gonna fix some issues on the firmware. The second reason is because they've actually added some improvements. They are upgrading the Gerbil core, the GRBL core, from 1.1F to 1.1H, which is a newer version of the Gerbil core. Added optimization for the USB driver library in the attempt to address disconnect issue alarms, the alarm three thing. Uh, they also added a fan delay shutdown function, which the fan will remain going from 30 to 120 seconds based upon the length of your total burn. The fan will keep going to cool down that laser. So that's a really cool function. They also introduced a G-Shock algorithm, is what they call it, which is a new algorithm that reduces the amount of false positives. It's time to update. It doesn't take long. Like I said, five minutes or less. Let's do it. So the first thing you want to do is go to the website. The link will be in the description below for the website and it'll take you to this page. When you're here, if you look through this page, it shows a bunch of different lasers that they have. And what you want to do is choose the download for the laser that you have. Uh, you can use the top here if you want to go through there, but really there's not that many. So you can scroll down if you want, just like that. What we're going to do is choose downloads. That's gonna actually download the file in a zip form that we need once you click this download link. So once you got it download, you're going to need to extract it. Uh, in Windows 10, you right click and hit extract all and that will extract it and it'll bring up the actual folder. Now you can use multiple different things to extract this if you need to, 7-zip is one. In Windows 10, all you have to do is right click that zip file and hit extract all. So that'll bring us to the folder that we're seeing here. You can see that there is a firmware instructions a PDF, a bin file, and the changes, a text document that tells you the changes I just went through. The uh, PDF is really cool. If you open that up, it'll go through. It's a very nicely typed um, set of instructions and it goes through exactly what I'm gonna do now. It's very, it's very nice. If you see in the center of the screen right now, here's your difference between your Max Pro and your version 1.3 motherboards. So the Max Pro, the buttons are above each other like this. Uh, and on the 1.3, they're next to each other like this. Depending on what version you have is gonna depend on how you push the buttons. It really is, it's the same buttons, they're just in a different orientation on the other motherboard. Once you have this downloaded, we need to enable firmware mode on our laser, and we're gonna do that now. So we're at the laser, and uh, it's kinda hard to see with the black on black buttons, but there's the power button here and the reset button here. The, the instructions say we need to hold the power button down for five seconds, and then keep holding it and tap the reset button. When we do that, we should see a drive pop up on the computer. Now the laser is completely off at this time, and I'm gonna try that now. So I'm gonna press the power button in one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna touch that. On the computer, I just saw a folder pop up, so let's go check that out. As you can see, a window popped up. In my case, it says Ortur Laser and the drive G. In your case, it might be a different drive, that's okay. What we need to do is copy the bin folder, the .bin folder, right to the root of this drive here. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna right click, 
and click copy. On the left side here, you'll see Ortur Laser G. If you don't see this, you can click on this PC right here, and that'll take you to all the drives. You'll find the Ortur Laser Drive here. And if you click on that, we wanna paste that bin file, that BIN file right in here. So we're gonna do that, right click and then hit paste. And that should copy the file up. And as you saw, it didn't take long. It only took a couple seconds there. Now what we're gonna do is go back to the laser and just touch that reset button. And I'll show you that now. Okay, we're back at the laser here. And again, power on the right, reset on the left. In my case, if you have the other board, they're up and down. So I'm just gonna touch the reset button here and that'll shut the laser off. Now what I wanna do is hold this button down and power the laser back on and it'll home just like that. So that firmware automatically will load itself up when you turn the laser back on. So we held the reset button and it powered the laser off. Then we powered the laser back on with the power button and it homed. Now we're gonna go back to the computer and see if our firmware updated. So I've opened Lightburn up. So in the instructions in that PDF file, it goes through how to do this in laser gerbil or laser GRBL, however you wanna say it, or Lightburn. And as you know from my previous videos, I use Lightburn, I love Lightburn. So what we're gonna do is open Lightburn up. When you do that, you'll hear the laser home. And then you wanna to come to devices. Now, make sure you're on the newest version of Lightburn. If you look up in the top left, uh, it's 0 0.9.20. And you wanna make sure you're on the, the newest version of Lightburn um, all the time because they do some really cool stuff. But in this case, because this might be different from previous versions, uh, what I'm going to do is just right click devices. It's going to home the laser. And as you see, I've done it a couple times, but as you see here, it'll say uh, this is an Ortur laser. It's a Laser Master 2. It's OLF firmware 140. Now that is the newest firmware. You want to make sure that says OLF 140. We're good. So since the firmware is good, what we need to do is clear the EEPROM. Again, this is absolutely going to clear out any custom things you've done and you'll need to re-enter them so make sure you save it before you do the firmware process what we need to do is paste the code you see here which is a dollar sign and then capital r capital s capital t equals and an asterisk i'm going to hit enter and when i do that it's going to say message restoring defaults okay laser master 2 ready olf 140 it says Gerbil 1.1H, which is great. And we are done. You've officially upgraded the firmware on your Laser Master or your Laser Master 2 lasers. And that's all you have to do. So that's it. You've officially upgraded your firmware on the Laser Master or Laser Master 2 lasers. And it's super easy to do. I hope this video helped out. And don't forget, if you had any custom settings, you need to go back and enter those now. Other than that, we are completely finished. The firmware's upgraded. You saw it was OLF 140, and that's great. Well, I hope you guys got some value out of the video today. If you did, please hit that subscribe button below. It doesn't cost you anything, and it means the world to my channel. I really appreciate it. Well, I hope you guys learned something today, and as always, keep burning. What's up, everybody? I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button right here, and click that little bell if you want to be notified anytime we go live on Hot Mix on Monday nights, or a great video like this comes out. Have you seen the rest of the laser playlist? It's right here.